Hi guys, it is Friday for me, Monday for you. I hope you are well and uh, yeah, maybe that the weather is a little bit better where you are than I am because it's pouring down. But uh, anyway, welcome to a new video. If you are new here, my name is Sandra. Um, I do mainly vlogs and DIYs on this channel. The DIYs are sewing uh, and like, I don't know, fashion stuff mainly. Uh, so um, if that sounds good to you, uh, make sure to stay. On the vlog side, well, it's just my life here and there where I enjoy uh, speaking to you guys and taking you with me on some of the weird and not so weird stuff that I do. Um, I'm a mom, um, I am in tech and uh, yeah, if all of this sounds good to you, then uh, you should definitely stay. Um, but let's jump into today's video. That is why you're here. All right, guys, um, we have had a long string of DIY videos and um, this is a DIY related one. It's a little bit more of a haul. I think you've already guessed that from uh, the title. Um, but let's talk about beaded fabrics, beaded dresses, beaded everything. Um, I've been super, super into like the Clio Pipiat dresses, uh, Oceanus uh, brand. They do bathing suits, dresses, like they do a lot of stuff with beads. Um, but yeah, I've been really into everything beaded lately for some reason. And um, if you've seen past videos, I think I quite recently posted, like I've been doing these little... Um, doing these little embroideries uh, also very much with like ocean aesthetic uh, type stuff I still need to figure out what I'm gonna do with these um, I started a crab as well <laughs> that you probably can't see as a crab but anyway I've been really really into beads and um, when I saw these dresses specifically I just thought to myself all right let's do this um, and for that very reason we are gonna talk about beaded fabrics today and I am also doing a little bit of a haul I actually received uh, these two deliveries yesterday and I haven't opened them yet because I kind of figured it's fun for all of us if we just catch my reaction to them off the bat maybe it's terrible but let's see um, well on beaded fabrics, it's actually not something that I've sewn with a lot. I have sewn with uh, sequins before, um, but I do know a little bit about beaded fabrics and I also researched a little bit for this video. Um, the one thing you want to make sure is, um, are you going to sew with a mesh, mesh fabric? Is it then stretchy or not? So consider what type of clothing that you want to make. So if it's stretchy you know maybe that's more for a tighter fit or um, a more close uh, fit also what is then the lining fabric or under fabric that you want to use do you want that to be more stiff um, but also what type of machine do you have so most sewing machines can sew with sequins uh, if we're talking like a home uh, one um, but when it comes to beads you have to do a little bit of prep um, this is obviously a part one. Stick around if you want to see me make the dress. That will be uh, either next video or the video just after. It's, it's coming soon. Um, but um, you need to do a bit of prep on the fabric. So you need to make sure that you are first cutting out your pieces. Uh, don't ruin your scissor on cutting the fabric. Um, <laughs> and then as you start or get ready to sew, you want to actually make sure that you remove all hard beads uh, cut them off or crush them, um, uh, all the beads that are in your seam allowance. So I think those are like the top two things. There's probably so much more to consider, but um, for me, that's like really the top two things that I kind of had to just make sure that I was comfortable with before deciding to do this. Let's open my beaded fabric. Um, I found these on Amazon. I will say, uh, if there's one thing that we're missing in Copenhagen, maybe someone out there wants to open one, we're missing like proper fabric stores that also has like 
crystal beading like all that kind of stuff we have a few fabric stores that i think it's fine in terms of like normal fabric uh, but also like not super impressed if you want to go to the store and actually you know feel it uh look at it look at the design and so on so i decided to order online um and i found these in two different shops on amazon uh, if they're good, I'll make sure to link them below <laughs> But uh, but yeah, let's get into it. The first one I think is um, White uh, crystal fabric. So the picture from Amazon looks like this and uh, Let's see What it looks like in real life Okay, so off the bat, looks like there isn't even any beading on it, but uh, let me open it fully. Okay, it's a beautiful fabric, I'll give them that, but um, I would also say this fabric, probably what I would classify as a bit of a scam, because um, the picture clearly has like beads and a bit of sequin, and this is basically just lace fabric. So I'm gonna hold it up for you guys so that you can see it. Uh, it, it looks really beautiful. I think I might actually add some beading to this myself, but that would obviously be a big, big chunk of work if I had to do that. Let me also just come a little closer. So this is what we're looking at bit of a disappointment but uh, hopefully the next package is better <laughs> all right for the next one I ordered two items I ordered this fabric right here so especially inspired by those Cleo Pipiat uh, dresses um, and hoping that this has beads <laughs> so that I'm able to kind of drape and put my fabric pieces like really onto the right spot of where I want the dress you know that big like front star thing going on and then I also ordered uh, this type of uh, pearl trim uh, that I'm hoping to use for uh, either shoulder straps or um, yeah I'm not sure if it's going to be part of the project but I did want some sort of trim that I can use for shoulder straps hands, uh, other things to like make them pop. Let's open it. I do see some sequins, so, so far so good. I think the first little package here is probably the trim, so let's maybe start with this one oh that is super pretty it's a bit um it's a bit narrower than i thought but also i think that's fine like it still has some still has some width to it don't seem too sturdy though, so if I were going to sew with this, I might actually choose to interface. But um, let me show you guys up close. So this is the trim. It's about a centimeter wide. The back side is just, they basically just did done like a really simple stitch um, for all of the pearls. Hence why I think I kind of need to give them a little extra if I were to use this. But um, aesthetics wise and like look wise compared to the picture, um, this is as expected and I'm quite happy with it. I hope there's enough though. I think it said like two yards, so. All right, happy with this one. Let's move on to the final one. looking good well it does have the sequence like I said which looks absolutely beautiful so now I'm just curious to see if there is also any beading or if there is not there's no beading um, but I'm actually kind of happy with this one 
I think it's easier if I lay it out on the floor, so just give me one second and I'll show you guys. This is so beautiful, guys. I am actually really, really happy with this one. I know it does not have beads, but that only means that my um, sewing process is going to be a little bit easier. Uh, what I love, love, love is the pattern. So I'm thinking something like this is like obviously a center front piece for a dress. Maybe I can even work with some sort of slit on the leg, you know, like a little bit. Um, and then it just, it sparkles really nicely. I hope you can see it. Uh, I hope you can see it on the video. Um, so, very happy with the, very happy with this delivery. And there's a lot of it too. It's like, I don't know, five meters. Um, it's not very wide, but I think that's okay. Um, when I cut my panels later on, I'm going to focus on this side for um like center front you know main character energy pieces <laughs> and then i feel like the other side is more usable on the sides of the dress so very 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 happy with this one all right guys that was uh that was it for today if you want to see me make my cleo pipiat inspired dress um then stay tuned like i said next couple of videos it's coming i will um see you next monday take care bye